Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to the channel, Mr. Reef Buster. I'm your host, Monty. And today is the episode 7 of the Project Nano Reef. And on this episode, I will be unveiling the 22-gallon lagoon tank that I've um, set up about a month ago. Um, now, first of all, I do apologize. It took so long from, the, from episode 6 till now for me to upload a video. Uh, with the setup, the finished setup of the 22 gallon lagoon tank, I was having some issues with the tank right after I set it up. Uh, so that's why I was kind of going through the motions of setting it up and all, making sure everything is working properly and running into some road bumps, which I'll be discussing in detail later down in the video. So, so stay tuned guys, this will be about a 20, 18 to 20 minute video. I'll go over everything. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys the finished tank. Um, here it is. I mean, um, this is my new 22 gallon lagoon tank. Uh, as you can see, the aquascaping is done. Everything is already in place. It's been there for about a month. Now, I'll talk about what's going on with this tank and what's been going on for the past month or so a little bit later down in the video uh, and the, I just want to show you guys the setup the tank how everything is right now what kind of equipments I'm using and how the equipments are running and everything I just want to show you guys the setup first um, the finished setup and then we'll get into details as to what's going on with this tank um, now first of all as you can see um, the tank is not very pretty um, even though the aquascape came out really good I'm gonna show you guys aquascape in a moment um, but uh, first thing you're gonna see is a lot, there's a lot of algae on this tank and we'll get into that in a moment as well I'm gonna talk about everything that has been going on with this tank for the past month um, but um, let's show, let me just show you the setup I'm running right now as you can see my LE Chinese LEDs my auto feeder um, right off top I have I built a little shelf so I can put all my equipment for this tank, my tester, all the stuff, the food, the products that I put in this tank. As you can see on the right, there is a little that um, the cooling fan on the right. Um, now let's look inside the tank so you guys can see a closer look as to how I did the aquascape and how it's looking right now. So we're all start, we'll start on the left. As you can see. Um, I mean the rock, the rock work. I'm happy with the way it's set up. Uh, this little giant tall um, rock that you're seeing. That's where I'll be putting in more of the SPS types, and I'll have soft D's and SPS uh, LPSs on the other rocks that you're seeing. But let's. Uh, I have a little uh, frag shelf. Let's go down. Let me show you guys the back of the tank and how the return. Um, the overflow boxes so as you can see right here is the back of my tank um, the plumbing and the overflow box in action um, where if you look closely you're gonna see that there is a white PVC pipe and a red PVC pipe now the white PVC pipe was not there in the beginning um, but when I set it up without the white PVC pipe there was a lot of noise coming from that from that water going through that hole so I just cut a little bit of PVC pipe and put it there so it minimizes the noise right on the back you have my uh, you know RO reservoir right on top of that I have my cooling fan if you guys want to see a video on it I do have it posted check out my channel and here is the sump guys this is the sump refugium section uh, I apologize for the cobweb uh, wires I haven't I'm not done setting up the bottom I will be putting up a, a cover a stand cover for this so that's why I'm kind of waiting to do all the wiring management so I apologize for that uh, hopefully in the next video they will be organized better but let's just show you guys uh, all the equipments and how they are running so we're gonna start from the left and uh, um, first thing I want to show you guys is my Fosban reactor my two little fishies uh, Fosban reactor uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it it's running in full open valve uh, at the moment as you can see is very minimal tumbling you don't want too much tumbling 
and here's a look at the um, Reef Octopus BH50 protein skimmer in action. As you can see from the skim aid box, there's a lot of gunk that is collected. So the protein skimmer is working. There's my uh, inlet with the filter sock in there, which I'm changing every couple of days. Here is the refugium section with the LED lights on it and the Kato. Look at all that Kato that is growth. I put a tiny little ball from my main 45 gallon tank and has overgrown the sump area. So I gotta, you know, cut some out and dispose of it. Now let's move from the uh, sump into that pre return chamber. That's where I have that Marine Pure block right there. And right after that, I have a, another little baffle. That's where the um, Kim Pure is, and that's the return section. So, and that's my uh, temperature controller. We'll talk about that in a, in a little bit later in the video. But I wanted to show you guys my fishes. Um, so right, and right now on this tank, I have two naked clown fishes and a Wyoming uh, white clown as you can see we're gonna dive actually underwater and I'm gonna show you guys a closer look at these fishes uh, because I think they're fantastic beautiful especially the naked clowns I saw them at Reef of Palooza in New York earlier uh, a couple a couple of like a month ago and I had to get them so I got them from liveacoria.com I purchased them from there so if you guys are looking to purchase these naked clowns check them out they are very good um, so here's a closer look um, into the fishes I just want to show you guys the clowns in the tank right now I mean the naked clowns look beautiful I mean I can only imagine how this tank will look once I have all the corals um, you know growing properly and these clowns swimming around them um, so that's that let's come back out and let's talk about what's been going on with this tank now a lot of you might guys might be asking hey Monty what's going on with this tank it's um, there's barely you have no corals most of your corals are dead and you have an outbreak of algae all over your rock works well guys so to start from the beginning when I right after I set up this tank um, I added a couple of corals uh, from the one, most of them from the existing tank and I bought one or two extra corals um, that I put in the tank and they were doing fine for the first week but after a week I started having problems my coral started dying um, and well uh, let me I'll tell you guys what happened first of all um, the tank is situated in a tiny office room in my basement and in this room that the tank is in there's only a tiny little window and apparently there's been a lot of heat waves going on in New York City and all the heat has been trapped in the room because I don't have proper ventilation on the room so the tank overheated uh, to the point it was about the temperature was about 85 degrees and I was trying all sorts of method trying to cool this tank to keep it the temperature ideal I mean I put cold ice ice bottles in the tank uh, fans I went I bought like three different fans try to see if it uh, if I can get the temperature under control and if you guys want to see a video about how I got this in control check out my review um, of the fan um, by tunes uh, fan that you're seeing on the top and uh, my review of the my video on the tank nano reef cooling and what solution I came up with so temperature was part of the issue and the, the other main issue that I ran into was that my tank um, kind of crashed and uh, right a, a week after I set it up and I'll tell you guys why because I shocked my tank I added so much stuff on this tank so quickly that the tank could not handle it and it crashed on me to the point all the water um, on the tank was all white for about two days uh, I had to do water changes and put a lot of chemical bags in try to fix this uh, white whiting issue that I had and after doing a couple of research and speaking to some of the uh, some other reefers out there I, I realized that I shocked my tank I introduced too many things on this tank and I'll tell you what what or those things that I introduced so first of all I added 20 pounds of uh, live sand um, the sand that is on this tank is um, 
uh, pink Fiji uh, Argolive sand in there. So live sand has bacteria in it already. So uh, it already had 10 pounds of sand, live sand before from the original 10 gallon, then added another 20 pounds of it. So a lot more sand, a lot more bacteria was added. And on top of that, Miracle Mud, I have Miracle Mud on my sump refugium. So the Miracle Mud comes with a lot of bacteria as well. And on top of that, I also added the Marine Pure Block. Uh, and to seed that block with beneficial bacteria, I dumped a whole bottle of the the roof um, continuum bacter M uh, it, to seed it uh, into the sump. So I added a lot of bacteria and a lot of new and uh, you know it's also protein skimmer and the phosphate reactor and all the and also added some extra bacteria as well. So I kind of overloaded the tank and it couldn't handle it. So it kind of crashed on me and. 95% of my corals died. I'm just glad the fishes uh, were able to handle um, this that, this kind of a crash. I mean, thank God these are clowns and they're hardy fishes. If there were more sensitive fishes, they probably would have died. So after that, eventually after a week or so, the tank stabilized and all the water perimeter were good. But I was having a still having the heating issue which I was not able to resolve for the next three weeks so about two weeks ago I finally got the water temperature in check and by then I'm having this algae bloom on my tank and as you guys may or may know this is called a new tank syndrome it will happen to all new tanks now diatoms yes I had some diatoms right in the beginning but they, it has died down. It's not as bad as it was. Right now, I just have the algae. So this is just a video. I just made the video before I uh, did the water change and cleaned out all that ba algae from the rock work and siphoned them out. So the trick is, guys, if you're experiencing something like this, now this could happen with new tanks and old tanks. When it happens to new tank, it's called the new tank syndrome. When it happens to older tanks, it's called the old tank syndrome. Now, I'm having a similar issue with my 45 gallon tank as well i'm going to make a separate video on that i'll talk about the old tank syndrome so if you guys make sure you tune into for that but this tank is tech technically still going through the new tank cycling process so even though i cycled my 10 gallon before since i added all this new rock and all this new stuff on the tank Technically, I'm starting all over. So tank is going through the new tank cycle again. So these algae is normal. So what you have to do is, if you're experiencing something like this, you have to clean out the algae from the rock work and make sure you siphon it out. Don't let the algae stay in your tank and don't think, oh, my sump or my protein skimmer or my filter sock will take it out. Do not rely on those to remove the algae that you remove from the rock works. You want to remove the algae right away from the tank. Because if you don't, it will they will just stay floating around and they will populate elsewhere. So, you know, scrub out your algae from your rock right before you do the water change and siphon out the, those algae. Turn off all your pumps to make sure you keep the algae in your tank and this way you can siphon it out. So that's what I'll be doing right after um, this video. But I just wanted to show you guys um, what it looks like when the tank is going through the new tank syndrome cycle um you know because i was i actually didn't want to make this video in the beginning i was i was really um upset that my tank is going through this you know and all, most of my corals died I, you know i did not want to show you guys um tank in disaster especially a new setup but then i realized that this, this my this um my channel is not about showing you a final product of where everything is perfect and nothing ever bad happens to my tank. This is about learning. This is about me learning. And for those of you that are new, learning from my mistakes as well. So that's why I'm making this video and uploading it today. So you guys can learn from my mistakes. Do not shock your tank. Do not introduce too many things at once. Even if it's, I mean, I knew this, but I didn't know that... I never experienced something like this. I didn't know that, you know, you don't want to introduce too many lives, too much life sand at once. You know, you're supposed to do it slowly or or if you're supposed to do it before you cycle the tank out or before you add any livestock in it. Now, since this is kind of like a 
upgrade. Uh, I already had the livestock. I already had the corals in it. So that's why I kind of shocked it. But if you're going to do it, um, try not to, um, try not to upgrade into something double the size. Because technically before, this was only a 10 gallon tank. And right now, this is a technically a 42 gallon tank. 22 gallons of water in the display and I have a two on the sump I have on the bottom is a 20 gallon sump so the total total water volume is 40 about 42 gallons so this is going four times the size of it was before so technically this is technically new 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 tank and this is normal this would have happened even if you did set it up the right way without adding any livestock you would have to go through this process now now the good thing is I have all the right equipment to help me control this. I have a Fosband reactor, I have a protein skimmer, I have a sump refugium. So those things will take care of a lot of the filtration needs and my you know perimeters are good. But the algae issue is normal. This you just have to remove it manually and keep doing it until it's no more there. So make sure you guys do that. Now, um, let's see, I think I covered everything about this tank so far. If you have any questions, um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Um, for those of you interested in about how I took care of the heating problem, I have about three, three I believe I have three, three videos, two reviews, and one, uh, two reviews actually on the cooling fans that I went with. Now, more most of you will say, why don't you just get out chiller? Well, chillers are not, you know, cheap. You know, I'm trying to find, because I spent a lot of money on this tank already. I don't have the money to buy a chiller, especially for this nano tank. So, I, that's why I didn't go with the chiller. That would have been the easiest option, but it would be the most costly option as well. So I wanted to find the cost effective option. You know, that wasn't something that wasn't going to break my bank. So learn from the mistake that I've made, guys. Do not shock your tank. Um, I will be uploading the next episode um, probably in about a couple of weeks. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. I will try to answer as best as I can. If you have any suggestions on what should I be doing going forward with this algae problem, other than the men, you know the step I said I was going to do, leave it in the comment section below. This way I can learn something from you guys. Um, but what's next for this tank is a, is going to be a stand cover. So this way I can cover up the front. But I don't want to do it yet because it's still hot. And I want to keep the tank, even though I have the temperature under control, I'm controlling temperature better with my temp controller and the new blower fan that I have on the sump. But I still would, don't want to do it yet. I want to wait till the summer is a little bit towards the end, maybe towards end of September. I might do you know make the stand I'll, I'll make a video on that but until then i will be keeping you guys updated on how the tank is doing so the next video i'll show you guys and i'm gonna clean up the algae and then after a week or so i'll let you guys see how the algae is coming back or not but uh i appreciate you guys your patience you know thank th thanks thanks for taking your time out to watch the video uh, if you haven't subscribed al already please subscribe because a lot more videos are coming up uh, I'll be try. I'll, I'll try to make a video at least once a week. Maybe max. If not, definitely in every two weeks. I'll be uploading new videos. It could be reviews. It could be just an update on my tanks. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I want to thank you guys for following my channel. If those of you that are already following, and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Stay safe. Stay cool and happy reefing. Bye bye.